Hello there, I am John Cool with more Earthbound. In the last part, we finished up, uh, well actually we were past the deep darkness um, area. We went to the cave where a bunch of shy people were, or as I said, shy guys in the last video title. It's not really shy guys from like Mario though, I just said shy guys because like, I couldn't think of it, like, I, I was too easy to spell like shy creatures or something, so that's why. Um, and also, um, we got a phone call from Apple Kids saying that he finished a racer racer a racer, I think it was what yeah, a racer 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 or something like that. And he was kidnapped by I guess, you know, Pokey, because that's a similar sound. We've heard it from Pokey before. And yeah, we we've made it to Winters because that's where he was at last. And we're gonna actually call Gargo Express. I do need to pick up the pencil racer real quick, just so I don't have to like go across go through Yellow Brick Road again. With more because there's more enemies that are they are tougher now in this area. They were not that. There's no longer the griff groats or the um, or the dogs or the. What else was there? There's one other one other enemy I can't really think of right now. The dog, the um, griff groats, and uh, something else. I'll put it on screen right now, actually. So it's just a call it Scargo Express. It'll be Tracy at the on the line. So that's pretty cool. Uh, delivery. I think all you have to do is really just uh. I just recommend you just uh, make them deliver the um, the pencil eraser. Once I already have it, do I already have it? Oh no, there's another side. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, it's right here. Cool. Yeah. Do you need anything else? No. Just to confirm you expecting the video over the pencil eraser. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We have plenty of money to cover the eighteen dollar charge. So yeah. Here in Winters, there's tougher enemies, you know, other than, you know, the previous enemies, like the dog, the griff grow, and the other, and the crow. That's the, that's the, that's the enemy I was thinking of. The crow, the griff grow, and the, um, the, the dogs, whatever. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's Sigo Express. I'm here to deliver your pencil race, so you charge $18. You pay for this, right? You can pay for this, right? Yes? Okay, here we are. Thank you. So I think Pooh has the, um, Pencil racer. Oh, Ness has some space in his inventory. That's why he has it. Okay, cool. That's good. Now we just have to make our way back to where, um, to where Mr. Uh, Dr. Andonut's lab is, which is quite a ways away, but hopefully we can get there within this part, of course, which we can. That's where my stopping point is at. Okay, let's use, um, Bash. Let's just destroy Bash, Bash, shoot Bash. <laughs> Ooh, Smash Attack, nice. So yeah, if you came here like right when you got PSI Teleport Alpha, these enemies would be a little bit tough for you guys, so I really don't recommend you guys teleporting to Winter, because I don't think there's any... You don't have to actually, but now you have to at this point of the game, because Apple Kid got kidnapped, we have to make our way back to Dr. Andron's lab. But um, yeah. Okay, good, That was I thought that was going to be... Well, it wouldn't have been back attack actually, but... A surprising attack, okay, cool. Let's uh, use PSI, um... Rock and beta, I guess, as an opening attack. Bash, shoot, and then who can bash the Willy Robot, or Robo, whatever it's called. Okay, someone missed. <laughs> I'm just gonna use some PSI attacks, I guess. Bash, bash, shoot, and bash, then. These enemies are a lot easier, especially if you come at the right time, like right after, you know, Apple Kids gets kidnapped. Because the enemies aren't really too tough then. Look, we're already back at the, um, the Tessie Watching Club area, I guess you could say. Ah, oh, that's not the right way. I think we have to go up here and then down. To the right. To the left, I mean. And then downwards, yeah. I think that, yeah, okay, cool. There's only one enemy this time. There's a bunch of aliens for some reason. I mean, come on, they just took over the place. I guess because, uh, Guy Gas put them up to it or something, you know? Here we go. I took four hits from four different people, or party members, but we got through it. I think that was 1,910 experience each, so that's good. Um, I think we go... It's kind of hard, because like... Well, that's not really hard, you just have to find your, the right pathway. Oh my gosh, it's not the right pathway. It's like a little puzzle. It's been a while since I've been in Winners, at this part of the Winners, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I'm going for, too far to the left or something. Let's see here. I think, yeah, they go down here. Okay, cool. It just took me a little bit to realize that. <laughs> the right way. 
Uh, Sebastian Chum was kidnapped. Oh no. There's Bubble Monkey, by the way. I think in uh, the pack of chewing gum, there's a typo where it says Balloon Monkey. But that was because I think that was Nintendo's fault. Because in the Japanese version, it, it was Balloon Monkey. And they tried to keep it the same way in the, in the uh, American version, I guess. But they kept the uh, name and the pack of gum description like uh, Balloon Monkey for some reason. When it meant to say Bulb Monkey. So yeah, I finally saw Tessie. It looks like, it's like seeing a UFO. It's merged from the lake and flew towards Stonehenge. It kidnapped one of my friends along the way. I guess Sebastian, I guess. Where are you, my friend? They came and took you away. Come back, Sebastian. Hey, that's a haiku poem. Okay, yeah, cool. I think the silver go like five seven five seven. A five seven five. I don't. I think it's the first one. Seven five seven as a haiku, like the syllables and everything for each line. Ah oh, man, so I I don't remember really exactly out of haiku honestly, but something like that. I know it has to do with some syllables and stuff. Kiki cookie. Yes, I have some chewing gum, and I thought you needed the pack of chewing gum to give to Bum Monkey here, but he has his own pack of gum, so that's good. He's yeah, and he also kind of left his girlfriend to. Uh, I uh, wait for Tessie, I guess. Tessie's just like one sprite too. It's it just one consistent sprite. Even when like the animation when it moves, it just keeps it as one like frame, <laughs> the same frame as the sprite, same design. Okay, let's get go on Tessie. I don't know how all four of us can stay on it, but that's cool. I guess Tessie's a a big animal, so I can. She has a lot of room, I guess. I'm gonna assume she's a she. <laughs> Did I just assume her gender? <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, Tessie could be a boy. I'm not really sure if it's a boy or a girl. Or if it's an it. <laughs> this is some cool music. I think this is the last time you see Tessie in the game, so... From this point on, I don't think you see Tessie anymore in the game, throughout the game. Which we're actually getting close to the end of the game, actually, because this is like part like 73. And I think I'm going to have around 98 to 100 parts in this Let's Play. Just just, just um, estimating how long it'll take me from here. So, we're coming up kind of close to the end of the game. Goodbye, Tessie. We always will love you. Okay. Yeah. We got this. Ah, oh, there's more enemies, of course. Three of them. And, of course, it's in the path where we need to go. Okay, let's see here. PSI Rockin' Beta, I guess. Um, I know that Dr. Donuts has the machine that restores our PP and HP, so I'm gonna go all out. Um, PSI Fire Gamma, I guess. On everyone. Shoot the um, Willy Shamber, I guess. Shambler. Who can uh, use PSI Freeze Gamma on the middle one, I guess. Let's see how. Let's see if we can take them out in one turn. Oh man, that didn't do too much. As much as I expected, only 24 HP. Okay, PSI Rock and Beta. Yeah, I became defe yeah, just defeated. Disappeared. And still stand. Okay. Did not look on Paul. Good. That tech did not look on Paul. It looks like you're trying to make her stiff or something. Like paralysis or something. I'm just gonna go bash, bash, shoot, and bash. And yeah. There's, there's, that's all there is to it. Nestle and Spence gained 4,705 experience each. How nice. Cool. So you don't want to go through Yellow Brick Road again, honestly. Because the, the new enemies are also, I believe, in Yellow Brick Road. Um, so, yeah, it has no entry fee, entrance fee, come on in. Well, I'm going to use the pencil race, because I don't want to go through that <laughs> dungeon again if I don't have to. Especially since I have an item that can help me get past it without having to go through it. It's as easy as that. Pencil racer use, and then the pencil racer. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Nice. Oh, there's an enemy right there, though, so I have to battle it. Oh, no, there's two, okay, three enemies again. Okay. Juice PSI, rock and... Let's use PSI Rock and Gamma. <laughs> PSI Free Fire Gamma. Yeah, okay. Jeff can use. I can, Jeff can shoot the middle one, I guess. 
who can well actually well Jack can shoot the Whirly Robot because I think that's the most threatening. And then Pooh can use PSI uh, Freeze Gamma. Yeah, I meant to use like the left or right, left or middle one for PSI Freeze Gamma, but that's okay from Pooh. But it's okay. We're gonna still do good. There we go. Wow, that did a lot of damage on all of them. Yes, okay, the two of them are defeated and then one's destroyed. Okay, I think I think the middle one disappeared actually. Okay, Ness, Ness and his friends gained that 4,705 uh, experience each. Nice. Okay, let's see here. I think we just got through here. Uh, oh, this is where I like, climb ropes and everything. But if we, I think we, since we beat the sanctuary boss, like the enemies will like run away from us, which is nice because we don't really have to battle them then, unless they're in the way of like a rope. <laughs> so, yeah, I almost, I almost can chase them off the rope and make them run away. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid all of them. They're really not worth fighting, honestly, in my opinion. So we can just mosey on along and continue through this area. Okay, so let's see some crocodiles. Remember, they have a lot of defense, so they might take a lot of hits. But they're even scared of us. Crocodiles are scared of us. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move over here. I think this is the, the yeah, this middle rope is the one we wanna go up. So let's just go up the middle rope. And then go up this rope again. And you could actually heal at that sanctuary location right there if you want to, but I'm gonna just keep on going all the way to um, Dr. Andonut's lab, and I'm gonna use his machine to heal everyone's HP and PP. So yeah, I'm gonna avoid the uh, cave boys, or whatever they're called, and the mighty bears. Let's outrun this mighty bear. That's not realistic. You can't really outrun a bear in real life. I think I already said that in this let's play too. When he said to me, oh, I ran the bear. <laughs> it's different. Yeah, I mean, it's different in this game. Okay, so here's um, Apple Kid's mouse guy. I've been waiting for you. Master Apple Kid completed the eraser racing machine. So I think, uh, I said eraser, eraser, eraser earlier. Eraser there. Earlier. I didn't say machine, so it's just eraser, eraser machine. Okay. Well, he's calling. He, well, he was calling you. He was kidnapped. He felt like this. Ah! I'm just gonna, just. Okay, whatever. I was there, but was helpless. I'm um, sorry about that. Anyways, take this machine. Cool. We got the racer racing machine. Or Ness got it. Cool. Let's heal up at this machine right here. The instant revi 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 revitalizing device, I guess. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revital revitalizes you, just like a good night's sleep. How nice. Yeah, other than that, I'm gonna end the part right here. So, this has been my Earth Bond Let's Play part. The next part will take on hopefully more of um, try to solve this mystery and help uh, rescue Apple Kid and stuff. Because he did so much, he put so much work in f uh, making the Eraser Racer machine for us. We gotta help him out. He's our best friend or one of our friends in this game. He's got our back, so we got his back in return. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and see you guys next time on Earthbound. Let's play.